And that's exactly how it happened. People honest to God. Well, that's how it happened in my mind. In reality, it was a little bit different. There was less skipping. Not much less skipping. Hey. We are together. We're back together finally, people. Finally. How long? Too long. Yeah, it was a long time. So the last time we were together was mm. when we were... A long time ago. House sitting. I don't know why we're doing that face. Well, because it's a long time ago. Um, house sitting. That was right after when we arrived to Boca de Toro. After the exile series, we were doing quarantine. And for two months, we were house sitting. Ah, yes. And we were almost killed each other. That's right. We didn't kill each other out at sea. That's good because no one would have found the bodies. <laughs> We are very considerate people. We like to do all the killing in society where, the, you know, the forensics can do all their... The tracing. Chalk, yeah, good, yeah, the chalk lines. You know, these chalk line people, they need to be employed. But anyway, so um, it was a pretty tough time uh, for us, so we needed some time apart. And um, Margarita met a lovely bunch of friends. Tell us about your friends. There's a very nice community over here, so... It wasn't difficult to be get integrated and be in, in Bocas. And uh, what have you been doing? Um, I've been surfing. I've been doing kickboxing, pilates, all the things I haven't been able when I'm in the boat and especially have friends, girlfriends that you can chat, gossip, do all those nice things, go for a drink at the end of the day, just... I try to be a soundboard have. people, but I'm what? no good. A okay. soundboard, you know, when you you talk to someone, you use them, you're talking to them. You just need girlfriends, don't you? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I'll try to be stuck with him for almost four years in it's, a row without having any I'm a, social environments. I'm so. adorable, people. It's not that easy. <laughs> Apparently, I'm not adorable. Sometimes. Um, so, uh, so we've had, and then we had all these hiccups. So I sailed away to a place, um, to be back with the stuff, um, you know, high intensity sort of underwater stuff and to start a new channel. And yes, we had all the hiccups, um, many, many hiccups. Well, I had the lightning and, um, and Margarita, who wanted to come and help me with the boat. Um, well, well, the storm that caught him, we also had that same storm, mm. well, in Panama in general. And the road that connects, um, well, the island to mainland, obviously go by Lancia, but that point of entry to the mainland, the road collapsed. So there was no road, no road for me to get. Yeah. Um, and no planes then to the him. Pandemic. This was still in the highest peak of the pandemic. So there were still no planes from the island to the mm. mainland and well and then i was on the hard stand for way too long and then he got COVID. and well <laughs> so then, I, had to be then I made the very poor decision because i hadn't actually finished the footage in fact i still haven't finished the footage for the new channel i thought i'd go back there for a couple of weeks and literally do 12 hours a day and to get it done and i got COVID, what, probably three or four days previously, so the day I got there, um, well, I, you all know, I was out of action for five weeks, and um, anyway, I'm finally here, and we're bike riding, and we went out to dinner, someone sent us a hundred bucks, and uh, we went out to dinner, so thank you very much, that's a uh, very <laughs> kind you. person, we haven't been out to dinner for, well, well six months, I think it's longer, but anyway, it doesn't matter. Probably. So we're taking it slowly and having a bit of fun. Margaret we is... have lots of fixing to do on the boat. Oh, yeah. Because oh. we want to take my friends to show how it's our life. Mm. But it's uh, going to take a while. That's right. And the first thing that doesn't work is the toilet. And I've got to get the, well, the head of the toilet. And we got They're the furler that, that broke and some more stuff. Yeah. There's... It's never the ending. usual. You get, a, you get an old boat, people. But, you know... I've, I've got a cunning plan, people. We're going to be a success. We do need your help, but we're going to be a success. I'm, I'm just putting in so many hours, it's not funny. Um, and we're going to have some kind of a preventative maintenance schedule. That's success to me. Other people have other ideas of success. That's my small amount of success is to get some preventative maintenance schedule happening. So 
Because normally what we what happens is something breaks, I fix it, it breaks, I fix it, it breaks, and then we are forced to buy something else. That's not how you should do it on a boat, especially when we go out whoop whoop into these places. You've got to have a spare because you know something's gonna break. So anyway, it's wonderful to see my beautiful, 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 three beautiful. Well, you should look through those beautifuls over there. Mm. And um, we'll see you, uh, well, what, what's gonna happen after this? What are we doing? Oh, we're probably uh, going back to the chronology. Uh, look... Yes, and we might. you might be actually asking yourselves, oh, what's the plans for where we're gonna be sailing? We don't know because French Polynesia, yeah. it's closed. So there's no point of us crossing yet mm. the Panama Canal, because we're gonna be then on the Pacific side, stuck there and mm. It's and that's a big investment for us to pay the crossing of the canal yeah. and then not being able to go to French Polynesia when everything and is closed. And having all the rules, not being able to go where you wanted to, mm. or want to go. Uh, and the furler is a huge um, thing in my so mind. So we're going to need to... I'm actually thinking I'm just going to take it down. I'll just use the spinnaker halyard as my force day and never raise the sail more than first reef. So I have the top 25% of the mast just sitting there. But anyway, uh, a plan is a no plan. How you say? Well, no, it's I, open until not having a plan is a plan right now because got, I think it's like every, anywhere yeah. in the world and maybe in your lives too. You cannot mm. um, have a plan more than probably a week, two weeks, or maybe a month because the world is going crazy. And but we've got things to repair. So we don't know. Uh, that's about it, people. Um, oh, just to mention... But uh, we're going to be in Panama now for a while. We're going to be in Panama. Until we know which country opens, borders, and we can kind of move freely. You know, to make it easy for people who are getting confused with all the series being mixed up, uh, here's another way we're going to do it. On Tuesdays, we're going to put on videos that are out of sequence to the normal chronology. So Fridays or Saturdays, we haven't quite decided is going to be the normal chronology and then on Tuesday it's going to be anything goes Tuesday and so sorry, do if it's, you? basically if it has a number says episode number blah 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 it's on chronology mm. if it doesn't have any number on on the front it mean, means mm. it's an update it's a recent but we're going to make it even easier you you know. if it's on a Tuesday it's either going to be something that's happening right now to us or within the last couple of weeks or last week or something else that's interesting that I think I'm going to throw on the Tuesday. So, good on you people. Thank you for your continued support. We're going to need it because I'm determined for us to be successful and I'm going to be working super hard. No more breaks because the algorithm destroyed us and so I have to fight back. So, there's going to be a lot more videos and I'll just do it until I drop.